you need to have a big, girthy. Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Alvin. My name is Suzu. And welcome back to the channel. Whoosh. If you haven't done so, please hit that subscribe button. And turn on the notification bell. So that you can see our future video. <laughs> so today is a day a lot of people have been waiting for. <laughs> today, I'm gonna share my tips and tricks <laughs> on how to get yourself a Japanese girl. Yay! <laughs> Oh my god. So before we start, this list is based on entirely my experiences. And I'm also going to ask Suzu for her help because she's Japanese and she could actually do some clarifying for me, right? Yes. So let's get started. First things first, you need these three things. Mm -hmm. You need the looks. <laughs> the looks. You, you need the smarts. <laughs> you need to have a big, girthy investment portfolio. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You don't need that because I have none of those things, okay? I'm not that good looking, I'm not that smart, and I'm not that well off. But I still got Suzu. So these are things that everybody has that you could work on mm -hmm. and land yourself your own waifu. So the first thing is, mm -hmm. you have to find the girl. Yes. <laughs> you and have to have a target, right? <laughs> yeah, the target, you know, put those crosshairs on her That's and like, you know, <laughs> yes, <laughs> and focus. Okay. Now, as I said in previous videos, if you live where I live, New York City, there's not a lot of Japanese people unless you know a bunch of them because okay. they're very tight knit and they kind of know each other, right? But if you're in other places, good luck. <laughs> Like the Midwest, I don't know if there's Japanese people over there. The South, no clue. The West, you know, West Coast, there might be a couple because the travel time from Asia is shorter over there. But yeah, first things first is you gotta find the girl, right, Suzu? Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, if you don't have a Japanese girl that you know, then you can't do anything, first of all, so... Yeah, you just... You can meet them online now. Mm, like those language apps, I guess? Well, I don't know, it should be one. Okay, <laughs> just go out there and creep on a bunch of girls. <laughs> so, next thing is to be confident. Yes, that's very important. Yeah. I think every girl would say that they like a guy who's confident, correct? Mm -hmm. In Japan, like, what do you consider as confident? Like, do you have to look cool, dress cool, something like that? Yeah, it's, I think that's probably worldwide the same norm of, mm. like, people have confidence. Is it, like, good to have just the right amount of confidence? What if it's too much confidence? Uh, I think that's, that's like, their personality problem, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> if it goes to that point. Mm, yeah, so you'd rather have somebody who's confident but not cocky. Yeah, of course. Okay. Like, have that as, like, oh, I can do everything. Follow me. It's like, okay. Mm. Like, you have to have some like a little bit of weakness in you so that it attracts people more like can't be too perfect ah okay so you want to have something to work on with a guy i guess kind of like that uh, i guess so it's hard to explain actually uh. you, you, you need to know the person first mm, okay <laughs> cool so so far we have is find a girl be confident and i think the biggest thing that helped me to get suzu is actually to be funny right <laughs> i feel like that's what i like well i think a lot of girls like guys who are funny so there was this one comedian that said that girl Girls like guys who are funny because most of the time <laughs> they're with you, their eyes are closed from laughing. <laughs> That's what? insulting Asian people. <laughs> no, it's not. Like when people laugh, they close their eyes, right? So I think that's the biggest thing for me too. I think when I first met Suzu, I always asked her like, hey, did you think I was attractive when we first met? And she would automatically say, I thought you were funny and I really liked your personality. Before I was really hurt, that's like, oh man, I wasn't that good looking. But now I understand it. Like, you know, I'd rather her like me for my personality and like, you know, I'd rather make her laugh because a relationship without laughter is a relationship that I don't really want to have so mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> what are your thoughts about that now do you think i'm attractive now i like the way you look <laughs> <laughs> not love <laughs> <laughs> it's okay guys, I'll get over it. So let's move on. If you lived here and grew up here and you want to be with somebody from another country, mm -hmm. I think you have to be respectful and also understand the culture, right? Yeah, definitely. You have to at least have some interest in it. Otherwise, when you really face the cultural differences, you're gonna just freak out. I was like, why don't you understand me? Or I feel like some miscommunication happens. Mm -hmm. But at least he has more understanding towards Asian culture more. So that me freaking out on those like manners and why 
but not he was like very understanding mm. I mean to this day there's still all little things that I don't understand but I'm more patient about it like you know I asked her like hey what's the deal with this what's the deal with that and I think you need to have that respect and that understanding for that culture because at the end of the day if you're gonna be in a relationship with somebody mm -hmm. you need to have that kind of understanding to first start that relationship and then maintain it mm -hmm. or else if you just want to do like a quick tinder thing yeah no I mean, understanding needed right yeah. also the biggest thing that I would recommend for mm -hmm. everybody to do is to step up your hygiene like take a shower every day <laughs> yeah Suzu is very very clean granted she leaves like tissues everywhere that's like my biggest gripe about her like literally she would use a tissue and like she would just put it there and then like it would be there like two days later I'm just like oh no, my god it's not two days I take care of it within the day <laughs> yeah okay yeah but otherwise you know she's very hygienic she takes care of herself she's clean you know she keeps everything clean she keeps everything organized if you're not taking a shower every day if you're not wiping your butt that's something that's gonna affect you and your relationship with somebody because for me as a guy I would not want to be with a girl who smells I think everybody doesn't want that yeah I mean but like some people they tolerate that I'm just like why it smells wow, it's so bad mm -hmm. have you ever like walked past somebody and you smell like <sighs> I feel like those people get used to the smell if you with mm -hmm. them too much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember back in college, I was sitting behind this person and I could clearly smell something. And I put a status on Facebook, like, guess this girl didn't wipe. I was like, it was so Ew. bad. So guys, please, please be hygienic. <laughs> Japanese women love men who are hygienic. Do what you gotta do. Shave, wash, polish down there. Your armpits, your privates. When you go out, put deodorant on. Look nice, look clean. Yeah. And that should be good. Don't tell a Japanese girl you only take a shower once in three days. Just lie, okay? Just tell them, I take a shower every day. And like, they're fine. But if you say like, oh, I take a shower only once in three days, Japanese girl will freak out. Oh. And will not date you. Uh, I can't oh. promise that. <laughs> oh. God. Bonus points, get up the day. Okay, awesome. So, so far we have find the girl, be mm -hmm. confident, be funny, understand the culture, and be respectful. And also be clean. And I think I'm gonna give you guys one bonus point, right? Mm -hmm. It's to be financially smart and also be financially responsible. I, I feel like that's like a tip of how to be an independent man. Is it? Do you think so? <laughs> like clean up yourself as well. Be financially secure. That's like independent person. But I guess you know, that's how I got you, right? <laughs> so I'm not the richest guy in the world, but mm -hmm. I did work at a bank and I learned how to be financially responsible, financially smart. Mm -hmm. And I think Suzu always liked that because, you know, I'm not just out there spending money on stupid things. <laughs> and that's also because I ask her before I spend money. She is my literal accountant. <laughs> if the girl sees you as, you know, somebody they can depend on, somebody they can trust, somebody they can lean on, mm -hmm. you know, for the future. Because I think a lot of girls nowadays, like especially my age, mm -hmm. like look for people that can spend their future with, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Those are my biggest tips to land yourself a Japanese girl. So Suzu, before you met me, was there any particular thing that you were really looking for in a guy? When I met you, I was only like 19. So I didn't really think about future at the time. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't think that you're gonna get engaged and married, stuff like that. Uh -huh. Okay, so let me change the question then. After we were dating for a while, what was one quality of me that you really came to appreciate and was like, oh, I'm really glad he has that? He was funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a biggest point. Literally, he makes me laugh more than anybody else that I did it with before and I just like it like he's just genuinely funny <laughs> and I love it <laughs> Well, maybe that's just like what I like how I attracted to the guy the funny part is essential No, I don't really care about the looks mm. But doesn't mean like you're not handsome, but okay, okay. stop my boobies <laughs> Yeah, cuz I know like some of your friends definitely would like the looks more mm -hmm. and then like, you know But some other people would like personality more. Yeah, you have both and just go for it go to Japan get a girl you'll be happy ever after like honestly you've seen the news you've seen the articles out there people are not getting in relationships in Japan and mm -hmm. if you're gonna be the savior of Japan you're gonna have to go there and mm -hmm. work on yourself and just take a chance mm -hmm. but just keep in mind the things that I listed before is you have to be funny confident clean hygienic respectful and also understanding of the culture I think those are the biggest things yeah you don't have to know the language as long as the person you are interested in or wants to they are learning English or your native country's language but I will suggest to know at least a little bit of it or be like interested in learning Japanese mm. so that maybe it'll help you along the way you know hang out with her friends or maybe meet her parents or siblings so 
yeah. nothing gonna hurt learning Japanese. <laughs> yeah, those are big points if you know Japanese. I definitely scored low on that because I don't know any Japanese and Suzu is my 24 hours a day, seven days a week translator when I'm in Japan. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it's helpful. It was definitely helpful for me because now I got to look back and I kind of saw how amazing of a guy I am. <laughs> <laughs> and as usual, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.